to be something that has improved the engagement of children with education and particularly has proved to improve the engagement of boys with education, which of course is one of the major factors of education in the Western world today. And when I say proved, I use that word advisedly because we have worked with Glasgow University who have done a research project for us and the results of which are about to be published. They're just back from peer review just now, but they will be published quite shortly. And they had found this, that this was the big thing. In our school, we are a small school, so we don't really have very big issues with behaviour. So it didn't really improve the behaviour because the behaviour was very good. But what it did prove was that for boys, the engagement with the learning process went up to the same level as the level of girls' engagement with education when they were using the iPad in a lesson. And for us, that's an incredibly significant statistical finding because it's what we all want to work towards, is that boys and girls are engaging with every aspect of education. We have used the iPad in every area of the school, in every subject, from primary one. You'll see my own little granddaughter, Fraser's daughter. She's just four and a half and she started in primary one this year. And you'll see her learning her letters on her iPad. And I'm sure she'll be much quicker than you are at using the iPad because she frequently says to me, no, Grandma, not like that. There's a shortcut. <laughs> Pardon me. So right from the uh, in primary one at four and a half, right through to people sitting higher and external exams, it's proved to us to be just to have been a wonderful addition to our teaching. But I'm not going to really speak about the iPad. That's Fraser's job this afternoon. But you know, when I heard about you coming, strangely last night, I was I have just been redecorating my bedroom and I've been organising paperwork as one does. I am contemplating the fact that I will not last forever and hoping that my son will not have to clear out thousands of papers when I go. So I was clearing through papers last night and I was looking through course notes for a course that I taught at Glasgow University on teaching children with special educational needs. And I was working with another lecturer there, and it was a lady who had come from Germany. And I had made a note just in this bit of paper of something that she had said. And when I thought of you coming today, I thought I would just run this before you. And this, what it was, was it said, this is a letter to all educationalists in the Western world. And it is a letter from a survivor of the concentration camps of Nazi Germany. And it said this, I have survived the concentration camp. I have seen children who have been put to death by highly educated doctors and nurses. I have seen the gas chambers built by highly qualified engineers. And education, I have discovered, is of no value unless it produces humanity. And I want to bring this to you about iPads. iPads are of no virtue unless they improve the interpersonal and the compassionate skills of children. And if we do not do that with the iPad, if we do not use technology to take our society and to take our world forward and to create children who are in the tenets of the Scottish Curriculum for Excellence, responsible citizens, effective contributors, successful learners, and so on. If we don't do that, then the whole exercise is vain. And what I hope you'll see when you're in our school today is not just the use of technology, because anybody can do that. But what I hope you will see is that you will see the use of technology to help children engage with their world. That the barriers are broken down. The barriers are broken down between schools, in the west of Scotland, they're broken down between religious denominations, which is a massive problem in our society, and that the barriers of walls around our school are broken down as children are able to communicate with people in your country, in America, in Africa, and they learn about the needs 
of other people and of their responsibilities as citizens of the world. And I hope that you'll see in all the work that is going on in our school that we're not just educating children for their own enjoyment, for their own aggrandizement, to make a capitalist society even richer, but that we are educating children who will successfully contribute to the ongoing happiness of our world. That's what we hope for. That's our aspiration. And I know, because you're extended professionals in your field, I know that is your aspiration also. And I highly commend to you the work that is happening here. And I highly commend to you the work that is happening with our children. And I hope that you will see that these are the principles that overarch everything that we do and that we can help to show you how we think the way that we have used technology has contributed to that piece of work. And I wish you happiness in it. I hope you enjoy looking around the school. The children are very excited to have you coming here today. I hope you also enjoy your time in Scotland, that the Learning Festival proves to be a successful event for you and that you learn from it. And to say this other thing to you, that I've kept very much in touch with Greta over the last year and that we are very happy here in our school to maintain the best relationships we can with people who come to visit our school and who are interested in this technological development. And if we can help you in any way, if I can help you with the education side of it, and I know if Fraser can help you with the technical side of it, we'll be most delighted to keep in touch with you. Because the great thing is that you're only a minute away Online. You know, you don't need to write to me and I'll write back in a month. In a minute, we've got an answer. In a minute, we link with one another. And the relationships are established between our countries that hopefully will be something that is to the advantage of my children and now my grandchildren and your children. And I see you looking about that some of you, it will also be your grandchildren. Because our generation, my generation, we've had our day. But we must prepare the ground for the next generation and the next generation that they will be responsible citizens of our world. So thank you so much for coming and I look forward to hearing from you later on. Unfortunately, I have another appointment this afternoon, so I'll not be here when you leave, but I'll leave you in the more than capable hands of Fraser and some of the other teachers who will talk to you this afternoon. But thank you very much for coming. Fraser, Like different words, you can use any word you want, and then you just change the word. I'm coming over to watch. It's nice. Do you know what you are? A cake muncher. Lucy, why don't you drink all the juice? Lucy's going to drink all the juice, and you're going to eat all the cakes. Yes, I did. So, what you can do is you can actually play back the drawing from a blank canvas to the finished product. And then you can export that to your Mac and render it as a movie, which means you can have a bunch of teaching movies showing people doing digital art without having to draw it from the class. It's really powerful. And also, you can walk up to any pupil and you can say, well, just put me back the drawing. Yeah. Show me what you did. And you can then see how long they've taken, you know, what different mistakes they may have made, how many times they started over, all that kind of stuff. Really, really clever. Cool. Yeah, I think the username is Cedar School. Cedar School. A lot, a lot of this stuff.